The strength bonus and DPS meta has been the core fundamental to efficient melee PVMing in old school RuneScape since the game was released nearly 10 years ago. However, there are some items that have been released that are just not simply worth your time or money to grind out to improve that DPS that you are chasing. Ladies and gentlemen, in this episode we will be discussing the Basilisk Jaw and the Need Is Not Face Guard and why this is one grind that grinds my gears. Now the grind for the Basilisk Jaw comes from Basilisk Knights, which is a 1 in 1,000 drop if you're on a Slayer task, or 1 in 5,000 if you are not. I'm going to be completely honest with you guys, and this is the best part of the video, I've never done this grind myself. I don't see the point in doing this. The Basilisk Jaw is uh, another item that falls into the category of the Dragon Warhammer. Yes, if you're on a Slayer task, it is five times more common. However, it is still a very common item to go dry on. Just to chase a helmet, which is honestly outclassed, by the Serpentine Helmet, which is one third of the price. I know that there is an upkeep value on the Serp Helmet with Zora Scales, and given that it is uh, Raids 3 at the moment, Zora Scales are pretty fucking high. Am I wearing the same shirt as the last video? I am, aren't I? Hold on. Holy shit, I am. <laughs> I promise this is, uh, this has been recorded about a month after the last video. I'm not recording them all in one here, but I mean, look at it. Why would you not want one of these shirts? And you can use code Condor in the link down below for gamer subs to get yourself 10% off. And then if we sell enough, you can get my head or a RuneScape related head on some anime waifu titties. Who wouldn't want that? So, well, I guess that's the plug out of the way. However, back to the main point of the video. Damn, that was early. Um, Basilisk Jaw, it's shit, okay? It doesn't outclass the Serpent Time Helm. You get one extra strength bonus and is it three plus prey bonus? I could be wrong on those numbers, but I'm gonna put the uh, the stats up here for the, the need is not face guard. It is not really worth 15 mil or 13 mil, whatever it's going for at the moment. There is no poison resistance which comes with the Serp Helm. I believe the Serp Helm is actually tankier. I fucking hope I'm right on that. And I believe it's also better to use Mage and Range and if you're going to be tri and you just keep the Serp Helm on the whole time. It is not ever worth your time. There is only one purpose to ever have the Nid is Not Face Guard. That is, if you, for some reason, grinded for it and you've got it on an Iron Man, I guess. Or, if, if I mean... It, the argument is that it looks better, okay? If you, you know, it's got the energy that suits those e-girls on Twitch that just get drunk and shit up everyone's fucking chat. Those are the sort of people that'll, that'll wear that fucking helmet. If you're gonna sit there and uh, tell me that it's better than the Serpentine Helm, you're fucking wrong. That is why it's not used in the majority of content unless people just wanna look good. So the argument, I guess, can be claimed that it is one of the best looking helmets in the game, which is very hard to find in old school RuneScape. However, Basilisks are the core problem here. If it was better and easier to kill Basilisk Knights, I probably wouldn't have too much of a problem with this fucking grind. But you're telling me that unless I'm using Dragon or Rune Knives to AFK these guys with range, I've got to use a crossbow, I am not fucking AFKing 200 to 250 basilisks with a fucking crossbow. That's not happening. That is the most slowest and boring shit I could ever think of just to go dry on this fucking jaw two or three times over, typically like most fucking people do. This is an Iron Man grind, and as an Iron Man myself, it is shit. One day I will have to do it for the collection log, but I've already told my group iron team, if you want basilisk fucking jaws, you can get them yourselves. That is one grind I'm not fucking doing. I'm not wasting, what is it, 180 plus if you get bigger and better. You're probably spending about 300 Slayer points in total to unlock these fuckers just to make Duradel, uh, Neve if you're ignorant, or Kona if you're a fuckwit worse as a Slayer Master. You're trying to bring your Slayer Masters down just to get a Basilisk Jaw. You can just save the Slayer points from buying the unlock and extension on Basilisk Knights and just skip fucking tasks and get yourself something good instead that makes you a lot of money. This is 100% not worth the fucking grind and the encouragement behind it being one strength bonus over the Serp Helm is not worth it, especially now that Torva is in the game. Understandably, Torva is uh, a bit of, uh, you know, it's out of some people's financial reaches and Nex is an absolute piece of shit to grind. So we're not gonna really dive into that without a 10 inch pole, but the fact that Torva and Serp Helms exist make the Basilisk Jaw almost obsolete. It is not a worthy helmet, and it is not worth the fucking time. My favorite thing about it is the prayer bonus, but honestly, crystal helmet, if you're gonna take a both with you, run the fucking crystal helmet, take the switch with the Serp Helm. There is absolutely no need, in my opinion, humble, honest, and often quite accurate opinion, that the Need Is Not Face Guard is a worthy item 
or a worthy drop. The Basilisk Night Grind itself is fucking shit. I'm not sure if I've already said it because I don't script these videos. I just kind of ramble on and hope for the best. Why would you melee these fucking guys? You got if you got if you melee them, you have got to eat food. So you're not going to melee them, are you? You're just going to sit there and you're going to range them. And like I said, unless you're using dragon or rune knives. I'm not taking a fucking crossbow to these guys, especially as an Iron Man and a main account. Why would you grind this on your main? You would not. This is not main content because it's not worth your time. There are better Slayer tasks out there that will make you more money at a faster rate than sitting there with a fucking crossbow, wasting your fucking time on a Basilisk Knight. It, it makes no sense. This is Iron Man only content and it's a waste of Iron Man's fucking time. I know Zora scales can be a pain in the ass to grind on the Iron Man. That's a good argument, but you're fucking wrong because Zora isn't that hard to grind. This is Zora guard right here real quick. Let me fix all your Zora problems. You got this little fucking, this is Zora's little island here, okay? I'm going to green screen it in so hopefully it looks right. Zora, all right, you know where to start. You always start on the, the whatever side. Hopefully I'm pointing to the right side. You start there. Every time Zora goes to the middle on either side, what you do is you swap sides, okay? That's it. You don't need to remember rotations. You just need to swap sides every time Zora goes to the middle. You're over here, Zora goes to the middle on either side there. You go to the other side of the island, all right? And you attack, you do damage. Zora goes to the middle again, over top or in the middle. Guess what? Guess where you're fucking going? You're going over here. You don't need to stand in a fucking safe spot. That's not important. You just stay away from the fucking toxic shit. If you're gonna, if he's gonna melee, you just move out of the way. It's not fucking difficult. People are overcomplicating Zora. 80% of the problem people have with learning Zora is the fuck with teaching them how to do it, and I'm here to fix it for you. So if you're having trouble farming the Zora scales for your surf home and you don't want to fish them, and uh, you can't be fucked getting the the Nidus not face guard for a helmet, swap sides of the island every time the cunt's in the middle. You range him if he's blue. You mage him every other fucking time. There's your fucking guide there, and. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how that ties into the ramble of the face guard too well, but I mean, it's content at the end of the day, so there's no complaints from me. Point of the video, at the end of the day, this grind is shit. It's a grind that grinds my fucking gears, and I'm so glad that I don't have to do it myself because I can see the uh, the purity and the the genius behind the Serp Helm, which is just the, the, the fucking helmet itself. It's amazing. Yes, you might go dry on getting one, but you've got like four times more... Odd, your, your odds of getting one is four times more likely. You're gonna make big bank. You're gonna make a good amount of Zora scales on your way there. Honestly, don't waste your fucking time with the Basilisk Jaw. Get a Serp Helm until you can get a Torva Helmet. My name is King Condor, and this is Grinds that grind my gears. Uh, fuck off. This is the easiest room in the raid. It's quite simple. You got a big boy. Look at him, goddamn! Fuck, mate, look at that boy. It's huge! You got a big boy.